Hello, welcome to Board with Paint. Today we'll be returning to the Witcher Old World, where I'll be showing you how to paint the griffin. This is a very detailed miniature and it may be intimidating to you, but we'll take it step by step and you'll see by applying some fairly simple techniques, we can get a pretty good tables hop standard. I've already primed the miniature, so why don't we get started? We'll begin by covering all the areas of the griffin that are covered in lion fur with brown sand. This is the lower half of the body, the claws and portions of the face. Next, we'll get out black gray and paint the end of the tail. Next, we'll do the feathers around the top of the head. Don't worry about blending at this point. We'll get to that a little later. Next, I'm hitting all of the nails on the claws with this. And finally, we'll use the black gray to paint the lower halves of the wings. For the upper parts of the wings, I'm using dryad bark. Again, we're not worried about blending yet. Once the feathers are dry, we'll do some wet blending. Here I'm mixing the black gray and the dryad bark with some retarder medium. This will give us more working time with the paint and allow us to blend them on the model. Next I'm thinning each of them with a little bit of water. Now starting with the black gray, We'll apply this over the transition area between the gray and brown. I'm doing this one side of each wing at a time. Then we'll go into our dryad bark and apply this on the upper part of that transition in the brown area. Then with a clean semi-damp brush, just mix those colors together right on the model. You can sort of scrub back and forth like you can see me doing here. This is a pretty quick and easy way to get a nice smooth transition between two colors. Now we'll just repeat this on the other sides of the wings. I'm also doing a little bit of wet blending on the transition between the head feathers and the wing feathers.
for the transition areas between the lion coat and the feathers, we'll add some retarder medium to the brown sand and do the same thing. Now we'll want to bring out the texture on all those feathers. Here I'm using a big makeup brush and Vallejo model color buff and doing a dry brush over all of the feather areas. We load up our brush, brush off excess paint on a paper towel, and then apply the paint over the entire area. And you should see this start to really pick out that texture. Next, I'm mixing a little bit of Bone White from Vallejo Game Color and applying a highlight dry brush. This is just going over the upper areas of the places we just dry brushed. And we'll do a third layer over a slightly smaller area after mixing in a little ivory. This is being applied very lightly and just on the very upper parts. While I have these colors out, I'm using buff to paint some of the rocks on the base. I'm not following any kind of particular guide here. I'm just painting some of the rocks and we'll use different colors on different areas of the base later on. You can do whatever you want there. I've kept my colors to sort of earth tones for this model. Here I'm using cold gray to color in some more of the base. This is actually a warm gray. I'm not really sure why they call it cold gray. Here I'm going back to the face and touching up the area with some brown sand. Then I'm painting the beak entirely with black gray. This includes the inside of the mouth as well. I also decided to hit some of the tufts of fur that are on the legs of the model with black gray. And here I'm also filling in the bottoms of the paw pads. Returning to the base, I'm using some Praxetti White and doing a dry brush to the stones that I've already painted, just to give them a little bit of a highlight. The Praxetti White is a dry paint, so it doesn't really have a lot of medium in it, so it's very easy to dry brush with. Once everything's completely dry, we'll apply Agrax Earthshade over the entire model except for the black portions.
This can go on pretty thick and it should provide a lot of contrast to the feathers. You can see I'm also applying it to the base. I'm applying non-oil to the black areas of the feathers. Once the washes are completely dry, we'll add some highlighting. Here I'm starting with the black gray and mixing in some ivory to lighten it, and I'm applying some highlights to the beak. I'm mostly focusing on the edges, but also trying to draw in some striations. We'll also highlight the tops of all the nails with this. We'll do a few more layers of highlight covering a slightly smaller area after mixing in a little more ivory. We'll do a little more on the beak here. And then we'll move on to the nails again. Here I'm mixing in a little more ivory and we'll apply another highlight here. Next, I'm filling in the eyes with Abaddon Black. Then returning to the lion fur, we are reestablishing our base tone by adding brown sand over the areas where we still want some highlights. Um, this will offset what we did with the wash earlier. I'm lightening this now with some ivory and applying a highlight over those areas. I'm mainly only applying this to areas that are facing upward or places I want to draw attention to, like the face and the claws.
finally, we'll wrap the miniature up by painting the rim of the base with Abaddon Black. And this completes the Griffin from The Witcher Old World. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you liked it, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, or leave a comment and let me know what you liked or didn't like or what you'd like to see me paint next. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, happy painting.